says. America, get ready for the top 10 boys hip hop routine. I did the season finale last season. This is the sequel to that. Top 10 guys on stage together. Here we go. Like the hip hop is really dope. It's like very strong, very good lines, tutting. Tick, 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 boom, boom. It's like once you start doing it over and over again, uh, it starts to get kind of, oh, that was really bad. It starts to get kind of natural. Practicing as I step out of the room. I like that. I have never had any tutting experience whatsoever, period. It's weird because at first we, wanted, we, we expect it to be just hip hop. We're like, all right, guys, hip hop, you come in. Nice. Then you tell us. Time for contemporary. Welcome to hell. Yeah. Um, Welcome to hell. It was like swimming in shallow water, and then we just went straight to the deep end. I was just like, thank you, thank you. The two of them both work together. You get that time to really notice them. Bam, you surprise you. And just bam, next thing you know, the audience has a black guy, and it's like, oh. Definitely think we're going to take these top 10 guys and really turn them into the Legion of Extraordinary Dancers for this one. This routine is going to be in your face. It's going to be explosive. Oh, my God! Boom! America, are you ready? This routine is going to be fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your top ten guys! coming up. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, quite serious faces. Wow. Okay. Lil C, you are part of the League of Extraordinary Dancers. How did these guys compare? Well, first of all, I need everybody to understand, Chris Scott is what we call the master of ceremony when it comes to mixing styles. Yeah, amazing. Keep in mind, check it out, check it out. This man pops, he waves, he tuts, he warps, he does b-boying, he does tap, he does everything. So you never know, you never know what you're gonna get when he goes into his bag of tricks. And I wanna congratulate you on a, a successful ride through the jungle of extraordinary dancing. You look like an episode straight out the series. Thank you. I mean, that was, that 
was the thing, Nigel. They, they kind of created this kind of dreamscape, fantasy well, land, almost like, in a Twin Peaks. It was like somewhere. the Matrix yes, for me. It, it was, was you know, it was Mr. Kind of Anderson. Yeah. But what I think the one thing you forgot to mention about Christopher was that not only does he do all those styles, he entertains. Yes. And while we've got hip hop choreographers like Christopher Scott and Dave Scott behind yeah. him, you're not related, Chris and Dave, are you in any way? <laughs> the Scott brothers. The twins. 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 The Scott brothers. <laughs> yeah. It's like While Arnie we've got and Danny great hip hop choreographers like that, hip hop is going to be extremely entertaining on the show. Yeah. But let me say something to the guys, because guys, you're all terrific this year, there's no question, and you bring personalities to it. But you are going to have to be unique and brilliant, because trust me, those girls are beasts this year. <laughs> And this program doesn't always support guys. We've seen a lot of girls win So You Think You Can Dance. So the voters go for their favorite dancers. They don't just favor boys here, like other shows. This is the girls are included here. So you are going to have to be at your best this year to beat those girls, let me tell you. Okay, though, that, those are Nigel's words of advice. They got it. They said they got it. Ladies and gents, please put your hands together for season eight's top ten guys. Didn't they do amazing? Thank you. Amazing.